recent immigration study out of Syracuse University in New York shows a huge backlog of immigration cases. News 8's Brandon Lewis digs deeper into some of the issues causing crowded courtrooms in San Diego and joins us live with more. Brandon. Yeah, Carlo and Marcella, researchers say there are more than 6,000 cases pending in San Diego immigration courts and judges are bracing for a four-fold increase this year as U.S. asylum policies force more people to appear locally here in San Diego. Well, in terms of the workload for the San Diego Immigration Court, it's really skyrocketed. Inside this glassy downtown building houses eight immigration judges tasked with deciding asylum cases. A daunting task as researchers estimate their caseload is set to increase fourfold this year. It's just a tremendously huge volume for everyone to cope with. The backlog has existed for years but is compounded with the recent flow of migrants from Central America. Researchers at Syracuse University who study trends say San Diego's courts are overflowing because of President Trump's controversial migrant protection protocols, better known as the Remain in Mexico policy. It forces asylum seekers to wait in Tijuana until their hearings. It also means they can only appear in a San Diego courtroom, whereas before, asylum seekers were allowed to wait in the U.S. and appeared at courtrooms across the country. There are only so many judges and so many hours in the day, and due process requires uh, proceedings. Researchers found nationwide only about 35 percent of all asylum requests were granted last year. San Diego and Otay courtrooms combined have approved less than 25 percent of cases in the last five years. One judge approved just about 10 percent. Meanwhile, the backlog continues with more than 6,000 cases pending in San Diego and Otay Mesa. When we went beyond the border to a migrant shelter in Tijuana, some families told us they were waiting more than three months for their hearings. That's often longer than shelters allow migrants to stay, so some started working illegally to pay for food and shelters, and the wait could continue to grow. Uh, each judge only has so many slots, you know, even working every day hearing cases. And migrants that have a credible fear of staying in Mexico are allowed to remain in the U.S.